Hello all, in this video, let us understand what are drying oils, why are they called so, what is the mechanism associated with these drying oils and what is their applicability. So certain oils such as linseed oil, tongue oil, which is commonly known as china wood oil, perilla oil and many such other oils are called as drying oils. Why? Because these oils when exposed to air in the form of thin layers, they form hard and tough water insoluble solids and this process of converting a layer of oil into a water insoluble solid is termed as drying and definitely the associated oils are known as drying oils okay if i consider certain other oils like groundnut oil olive oil etc they do not have tendency to dry on exposure to air and so such oils are called as non-drying oils. The other cases, certain oils, they have tendency to dry slowly in presence of air. For example, cottonseed oil. So such oils are termed as semi-drying oils. Okay. Further, these drying oils contain a high percentage of unsaturated glycerides and that can be found out easily with the help of their iodine values. So since they have high percentage of unsaturated glycerides, that means they have associated high iodine values. Basically, what is an iodine value? It can be defined as the number of grams of iodine that will combine with 100 gram of the fat or oil. So iodine value is basically a measure of the extent of unsaturation which is present within an oil or fat. Okay, so let us consider certain examples and their associated iodine values. It has been observed that drying oils have iodine values above 150. For example, if you consider linseed oil, which is a drying oil, it has an iodine value in the range of 170 to 185. Non drying oils have iodine values less than 100. Okay. So, if you consider example in this case, olive oil, it has an iodine value in the range of 80 to 100. Similarly, for semi-drying oils, they have an intermediate iodine values. So, for example, cottonseed oil, they have an iodine value intermediate between both of them in the range of 105 to 114. Okay. Now, as far as this drying oils are concerned, in general, you can say they contain unsaturated glycerides with conjugated double bonds and particularly it has been observed if there is an unsaturated glyceride with conjugated double bonds, they dry more rapidly than those containing an isolated double bond. Okay. Now, what is the application? Let us see that. Drying oils are used as a medium for paints, varnishes and lacquers. In fact, Paints are suspensions of some pigments or the organic coloring matter in linseed oil to which some turpentoil oil has been added in the form of a thinner. When these paints are applied on any wooden or iron surface in the form of thin layers, they quickly dry up and form a tough organic, field, organic film which protects the surface being painted. Okay, so we almost know the concept that how the paint works. A simple, a thinner has been added in the form of a suspension to an organic pigment, right? In presence of a certain oil, the oil which we use uh, generally is in drying oil like linseed oil, right? And it results in the form of an tough organic film and it protects the surface whereby you are painting that, right? Now let us see how this actual mechanism works with reference to the drying oil actual process of drying does not simply involve removal of moisture or evaporation of solvent but it involves complex changes. It is believed that the reactive allylic hydrogens, what are allylic hydrogens? These are the hydrogens present on the carbon next to the double bond. Okay, So which are present in unsaturated glycerides. These allylic hydrogens are first attacked by oxygen to form hydroxy bridges or I can say these are first attacked by hydrogen to form various kinds of hydroperoxy compounds. These hydroperoxy compounds then combine 
with the allylic hydrogen of the other glyceride molecules okay so large number of this monomer molecules are formed and this monomer molecules then subsequently undergo polymerization resulting in the formation of a tough network solid that is a cross link polymer has been obtained in this case which appears in the form of a tough network solid and that is what you actually observe in the form of a deposition over the surface being painted okay so you can understand this complete concept with the help of the mechanism provided to you okay that is about drying oils thank you for watching